Greetings and salutations, I'm Ken. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Sid Meier's Colonization. America's map has uh, on Viceroy and as a Dutch. And things are going extremely well, all things considered. At least it feels that way. Just the fact that we're so isolated from the rest of the Europeans is an absolute godsend. Of course, that's about to change as far as I can tell. I mean, they're starting to creep closer to us. The silver price is crashing completely. Which is not unexpected. But a bit annoying. We need more warm bodies at this point. We can educate just about everybody. It takes a while to do so, but we can. It's a bit tricky to educate the ore miners and blacksmiths though, so... I'm just gonna flat out train another team. Because we really need to get tool production going. And now we have both the room and colonies where that's actually feasible. Okay, you are definitely gonna need a dock. It is time to get the forts going and the cathedrals. And I probably should start training a few of the uh, vibrant preachers as well. And you're gonna wait there. I wanna see if this guy returns north. If he does, that means I'm gonna have to have to try to block the road there. Somehow, um, that's a throwaway cargo. I'm not actually producing that here. Uh, da, 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 da. The ore, maybe. Now, which of these forests am I supposed to keep? Only the southern one? Yeah, okay, so the others are to be cut down. You're out of tools, that means you're probably gonna get a re-education. And um, yeah, that one's also gonna be cut chopped down. As is that one, yes. I'm not sure about the, these ones up there. Uh, do, 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 do you move further south? I actually get that cotton out of there. Privateers. Oh, I really want to sink that frigate. Just so annoying. Why couldn't they sail south with that frigate? That's our church. You should probably have a stables. And the schoolhouse would be nice, but we are going to need a lot of horses. are expensive when you have to buy them like this. Oh, excellent. Change the statesman. Um, yeah, leave the colony. I need to see if I can find somewhere else for you to work. Okay, he seems to be leaving. I'm gonna wait one more turn. Uh, 
and it might be time to set up trade routes. Let's see if I can remember how the heck to do this. <laughs> Create a trade route. I think we want one from Fort Nassau. Uh, yeah, that's actually okay. Ah, fine, let's keep that default route name. Uh, destination number two is going to be New Amsterdam. Unload nothing. But you want to load lumber, cotton, sugar, tobacco, everything. Uh, fur. Oh, I can only have six cargo. Okay. Ah. Oh, okay, that's different. Well, lumber definitely. An ore. And silver. I don't know if there's anything else. Well, at the moment they don't produce anything else. So sure. You start doing that trade route, that's fine. Yeah, he's going away. Which is what, it ho what I hoped it would do. After all. Been improved. Uh, you're gonna go somewhere down there. And you are new Amsterdam. You are gonna have to be trained into a an expert, but not just yet. Um. <laughs> Actually, yes, you go north. Orange, because I believe we can set something up there. You go south to Curacao, they can start making some tools down there. You're just here to unload cargo. Uh, actually, you're gonna bring some tobacco down to uh, the Cherokee. No, 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 not the Cherokee, that was to the. Uh, hmm, suddenly I don't recall if the Aztecs were wanting tobacco or not. I'll deal with that in a moment. Before then, we are going to have to deal with... What did you just do? Oh, the farmer. Wrong button. You. And you. I'm going to need you to train some bells and whistles. That's going to reduce food. That's fine. There we go. Train two more of those. And there we go, yeah. So now the, the French are uh, at the break point. So there's basically one way to prevent that, and that's to do, attack the French and basically conquer all their populations. But uh, that would lead to a much bigger problem in the long run, obviously. So, because we can't defend that many colonies. Uh, no, we're not gonna train anyone, just head out. Yeah, we need to be tobacconist shop, we need the rum distillery. And I brought you guys down there, but I'm not sure if this town produces enough food for less. Yeah, 
It does not. Yeah. Well, in that case, we're gonna have to cut uh, cigar production and make you a farmer. Yeah, that seems fine. And that means a blacksmith's shop is just more important. I am gonna make a college here, so we can educate blacksmiths. And I think it's time to just send one over to make peace with the, with the English. Well, that means I don't need you anywhere near, near down here. You were there to just load up on goods. Of which there are quite a few now. Yeah, they need tobacco still, so that's fine. waters. Grr. Just want to explore all that ocean. As for this one, I do believe we're gonna be, for the most part, trapping fur here. There's something to be said for clearing this one. It's bad in terms of the um, expeditionary force of the king, but it's good in terms of the natives um, until I clear that camp up there. We're just gonna shift that around and cut this one down. Let's see, you can make tools up in New Holland. Yes, indeedy. Get up there. Are there any other colonists that are colonies that are ready for tool making? We could cut down the forests here and make tools from that, I think. I think you can mine tundras. It's been so long since I've played anywhere near the tundra, so... Don't quite recall. I will deal with that eventually. Um, do -do 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 -do. Onwards. Here's the thing, I don't think we lose if they uh, get independence first. But we do get less score. As far as I can recall at least. Okay, we've trained one statesman. Problem is... I don't recall if... It's tied to the educator. I don't think it is. If I'm like, if I remove the wrong guy here. Uh, I'm gonna have to remove one of them anyway. I think 
think it's just gonna sail with less than full cargo. It's kind of unfair that the uh, AI gets <laughs> gets independence for free, more or less. Whereas you really have to fight for it. Did I hit the map? Hit the map edge there? Yes, we did. Good. So much of the North Atlantic mapped. Three of our colonies are producing tools. That's a good start. Yes, I know, and oh my, yeah, he's gonna get independence rather quickly, isn't he? 22 now. And that means he's actively pursuing liberty belts by. yeah. Bad news for us. Really bad news. Not much we can do about it though. Other than excessive yes, excessive endeavors. Let's see, we could buy artillery, we could train vibrant preachers, we could we do quite a lot of things actually, but um, at this point we can actually educate the people we need. We just need the warm bodies. Let's train a free colonist there. This would not cost too much. Let's train ore miners, I suppose. Uh, do I need more tools? Probably. Since we are tool making, uh, making tools in the uh, seaside colonies. I guess that's acceptable. There he found something to do. What did you find? Oh, a wheat! Awesome! More food. Okay, let's see now. Where do we have uh, proper trained folks? Okay, one to listen in. At the very least. Let's see, 
Wissingen received by here. Provided, of course, that they have the uh, food for it. Yeah, they do. Yeah, you might as well sit here. Not exactly an area for you to plant sugar this, but <laughs> I'll keep you up there for now. Yay, converts! More colonists. At this point I'll take all the converts I can get, because now we have room for them. We didn't have that before Bolivar. Oh, did the cotton price actually fall? Okay, so the price can fall much further beyond four, okay. Cotton is now pretty much worth nothing. And the price of cloth isn't exactly high either. The price of rum, on the other hand, has gone way up. Which makes sense, I mean, we're not producing rum, so... Um... I'm gonna buy some artillery units. Expensive, but I want our colonies well defended. I'm starting to think maybe I don't want more colonies than I have right now. If we're gonna defeat the... Uh, if we're gonna beat the French to independence, we're kind of <laughs> running out of time. And if we start a new colony from scratch, that's gonna take a long time. Uh, so yeah. Take a long time for them to become uh, valuable colonies. Quick verification that you still want tobacco. Yes, indeed. Maybe I want to do this for the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Maybe I'll be content just mapping out the Atlantic. And I definitely have colon uh, the pioneers here that could need some tools. But for the most part, we're actually done with the terrain. need that many colonies, colonists. You go and get a proper job. And they pay a great price for tobacco, so I'll take that. Tools and trade goods. Well, the silver price is dropping like a rock, but... Uh, Try for sugar. Yeah, sure, that's a cheap price for sugar. I'll take that. You were heading down to Blissingen, you were new in Fort Orange. In which you can do nothing. Um, but I want to send you Fort Nassau, maybe. Yeah, Fort Nassau needs food. You go there and plant some food for them. I think that's gonna be fine. Other than that, I do believe it is time for another short break, so I'll do that. Thank you for watching.